This is a professional light painter creating an insane long exposure photo with an LED oh, light. And this is me trying to light paint a smiley face. Whoa, oh my gosh, what is that? I've decided to light paint famous logos. And we're gonna start with the Apple logo. The difficulty is probably like a six out of 10 for this one because although it looks quite simple, when you do light painting, you can't see what you're drawing until the end, which basically means, oh gosh, that's so bad. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so I gave it a few more goes, still couldn't quite get it right. So I decided to split it up between the base of the apple and the little leaf on top and then Photoshop it later. We have these two photos, one with the leaf, one with the body of the apple. I should be able to just combine them. Oh damn, that looks pretty good. Next up, the Nike logo. Now, I think this one's probably a three out of 10 difficulty since the shape of it is pretty simple. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Oh, far out. Okay, <clears throat> so I was wrong. It was actually pretty difficult to get the proportions exactly right on this logo. <laughs> for some reason, I kept trying for the next 30 minutes until I actually decided to look at the logo and I realized that the Nike logo has two straight lines here. And just that seemed to help quite a bit because this is the next one that I made. It turned out pretty sick. <laughs> okay, so the next logo we're going to light paint is the Filmora logo, with a difficulty of 7 out of 10. Which, by the way, brings us to the sponsor of this video, Filmora. So, while filming me is attempting to draw this logo, editing me is going to talk to you about the new Filmora 13. So, Filmora 13 has a heap of new features, and specifically AI features like AI co-pilot editing, which is basically an AI bot built into the editing software. So if we take a clip like this of me working on this logo, we can ask it to brighten up the video and it will help guide you through what to do to lighten it up. There's also an AI music generator, which is actually insane. If you click this section here, it will bring up the AI music generator, which you can then select the mood and duration and it will generate full royalty free songs. There's lots of other features in Filmora 13 like AI audio denoise, AI portrait, AI smart masking, and even this New Year's effects pack since, you know, we're coming into the new year. They're all pretty incredible tools. Now, if next year you're looking to raise your game as a content creator, you can do so with Filmora. So any links for this, you can see down below. All right, let's go back to the logo and see how we're doing. Oh, damn. All right, well, good thing this one turned out well. All right, guys, the next logo is one of my favorite ones, but possibly one of the hardest for this project, the Minecraft logo. I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal, but the problem is that the Minecraft logo isn't just a cube, there's colors to it. And for that reason, the Minecraft logo is actually going to be a nine out of 10 difficulty. Similar to the Apple logo, I decided to split this logo up into two parts. We have the dirt block underneath and the grass bit on top. And I used a different color light to color each of these parts. So we've got two cubes, we've got the base on the bottom and then we've got like the green grass on the top. And we should just be able to blend them together. Boom. Uh... It'd be better if it was filled in, but it's not really something you can do when you're light painting. On to the next one. All right, so this next one should be pretty simple. It's the Chanel logo. My theory is if we have two lights, we can just go like boop and we'll have the logo. It probably won't be as simple as that, but let's try it. So this logo, I'm expecting it to be pretty simple. So the difficulty on this one is gonna be a one out of 10. Oh, so simple. <laughs> All right, that one is easily the best one we've done today. And it's so good. And it was so simple. The final logo is the Tesla logo, but I'm going to make it a little bit special. You see, over on TikTok, I've been practicing light painting lightning. And I think since Tesla and electricity are synonymous, I thought we'd make electricity come off the logo. So I started light painting the logo and just like the other logos that have separate parts in it, I separated the logo into the top and the bottom half. And then I started working on the lightning. Now, from my experience in doing this, the lightning works by just moving the light around in a really jagged way, and it seems to replicate the look of lightning pretty well. After a few minutes of doing the lightning, I got everything I needed, so I started on the editing. Okay, now this is the last one. We're going to just put the two shots that we got together, and then we're gonna add in the lightning. 
bro. All right, it's a little funky, but it looks freaking sick. I'm not the best at light painting, but I gave it a good go.